In this video, we'll talk about the different phases that Wolverine and Deadpool have gone through together in live-action films, from the earlier ones produced by Fox all the way to the latest MCU Deadpool and Wolverine movie. Chronologically, in the original Fox X-Men timeline, the two met around 1973 as members of the covert black ops team called Team X. Back then, a 140-year-old James Howlett, a.k.a. Logan, still with his original bone claws, was recruited while serving in Vietnam. And so he, along with several other mutant soldiers on the team, performed clandestine military operations around the world, under the command of William Stryker. Among them was Wade Wilson, a mercenary who was a master swordsman with superhuman reflexes and agility. After a huge falling out, Logan decided to leave, and the team would also later disband. So now, we move forward six years later to 1979, when the Weapon X project was in its active phase. William Stryker was leading this secret U.S. government project where they experimented on mutants for military purposes, and he brought in two of his former Team X soldiers as test subjects. Logan underwent an adamantium infusion procedure, which gave him an indestructible skeleton alongside his signature shiny metal claws. <laughs> Wade, on the other hand, became Weapon 11, and hosted a multitude of different abilities taken from other mutants, including teleportation, super healing, optic blasts, and retractable adamantium blades in his arms. Long story short, the two fought, and Wade got decapitated by Wolverine's superheated adamantium claws. Wolverine, however, lost his memory later from an adamantium bullet to the head, while Wade's head was still alive, but never ever mentioned again. As a side note, X-Men Apocalypse, which is set in a different timeline, featured Wolverine still trapped in Stryker's Weapon X facility in 1983, and in a more comic-accurate appearance. And now... We skip ahead a few decades into the future, where both of these characters would be affiliated with the X-Men in different ways. In the early 2000s, an amnesiac Logan would join Charles Xavier's team of black leather-clad righteous mutants. He fought alongside them in three movies, and then sort of went his own way, before reuniting with them later as part of the future resistance group against the Sentinels. During that war, Logan went back in time, changed history, and created a new timeline, resulting in this new version of Deadpool. In this new timeline, Wade started off with no powers, but had his recessive X genes activated in an experiment conducted by the workshop, a modern-day version of the Weapon X program. So this makes Deadpool a mutate instead of mutant with an accelerated healing factor that is more powerful than Wolverine's. Now, he's still a mercenary, but did fight alongside the X-Men on several occasions, and even joined them for a while as a trainee. Deadpool even had his own separate X-Team, the extremely short-lived X-Force. <laughs> During this phase, these two characters never actually met on screen, although Deadpool did reference Wolverine many times until the end of Deadpool 2, where Wade's time-traveling shenanigans brought him to the original timeline of 1979. So he helped erase that painful memory, opening doors to a new and better Deadpool and Wolverine story, which, of course, is the title of their new movie together. Now officially part of the larger MCU multiverse, as we all know, this Deadpool is already no stranger to time travel, having played around with Cable's device and messing up the timeline in the process. Woo! Now he's gotten himself involved with the TVA and is forced to partner with a Wolverine variant in a comic-accurate yellow suit as they hop across different worlds to save the multiverse. And there's going to be multiple other variants of both of them, too. 